race one. Our podium today in third place, uh, Alan Founds and Aki Alto, Trusland Marshall LCR, our runners up. Peter Founds and Jevon Wormsley, Trustland Construction Suzuki, and our winners and now two-time TT winners, Silicone Engineering, Barnes Racing, John Holden and Andrew Winkle. We'll go to our third place crew first, and Alan, <laughs> first time on a podium here, that's uh, some gig, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, completely unexpected, really. The bike, the bike wasn't running as well as we wanted to, but, you know, I'll take it there. It's fantastic. What a feeling. Absolutely brilliant. And for both you and your brother to do it with newcomer passengers is even more of an achievement. Yeah, I mean, it's it, like you said, it's a dream. We, we always had a five-year plan when we came to the TT. And this is our third year now, and we didn't think we'd be on the podiums in the third year, so it's amazing, really. But the, in fairness, the times have been there through practice week as well. You've been right up there in the top six or seven all week. Yeah, the, the, the times have been there, but I, th I think as, as a newcomer, when you're trying to learn the circuit, if you've got a sniff of that, that you, you can go fast, you try to go fast, and, and, and I think that's probably one of my downfalls this week, as I've been trying a bit too hard, like, but, you know, she, it's, it's come together now, it's starting to come together, the bike's brilliant, as we want it to be, so. Most importantly, you've got a bit of work to do for family bragging rights. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> we'll face that later. Is there something you can do ahead of uh, the second race? Well, a, a quicker engine would be nice. We were, we were well over geared then, so we, we were fifth gear really most of the course. Sixth gear just wouldn't pull. Um, so, so the twisty bits we were trying to do was smooth and as quick as we could, and then we were just losing out on the straights really. So, I think all things considering, we uh, can't believe to be here to be honest. It's a brilliant TT podium, even more so for Aki. Let's have a quick word on you. It must just feel, I suppose, like de rigueur, is it, being a podium man at the TT, first time here, straight on the podium. Great to be here. I wasn't really expecting this. We're having a lot of problems with the bike and, you know, all this small stuff. But all seemed to come together today and had a bit of luck on our side for whatever reason. Mm. So nice, nice to be here. Definitely. You were able to get lots and lots of laps in at practice, but you can never really be fully prepared for your first race on a TT circuit, can you? Yeah, it's always, a, you know, it's always, the race is always different than practice, especially going down Bray Hill the first time, you know, on race. It's always different, so... But I enjoyed it though. It wasn't, you know. I hope, I hope you did. <laughs> yeah, I hope I did. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to do it again. Most you know. of the time I did, yeah. <laughs> and at what point did you realise you might be another shot of a podium? Well, we, we got P7 on the first lap, and I thought, yeah, that's probably about right. That, And then yeah, as it started, I thought we'd get slowly start to drop down. It was quite a lowly race, to be honest, wasn't it? Until Pete came past us on the last lap. <laughs> and to be to, honest, the, the only one person I didn't want to see come past me it was. <laughs> I, I kind of knew it was going to happen, and I'm glad he did, to be honest, because he, he gives a great toe over the mountain. I think it's the most we've used sixth gear like in the, in the slip seam of him, like, so he, he did us a favour, to be honest. Lionel Stern, run back to the grandstand then. Congratulations yeah. on your third yeah. place. We'll head Thank over you. to brother Peter. Uh, even more of a sense of achievement for you, a runner's-up spot at the TT. Would you have imagined that when you came here this year? No, not at all. I, well, that wasn't the game plan at all, so, yeah, we, we're made up to, to, to be sat here, yeah. And how did your race go? <clears throat> Yeah, it was great. We, my game plan was to go out and race at my own pace. You know, I don't like, don't like pushing too hard. We tried and we got loads of laps in in practice, which was great. Um, on the Wednesday night, we went out and did race full race distance, three laps, and uh, I did two laps consistently faster. And then the third lap, I tried a bit harder and actually went backwards. So I uh, got a bit of a telling off from the team manager who told me to just settle down and uh, work at my own pace, and uh, and and that 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 paid off through the rest of the week. You know, times just came down, down and down and down. So it was great. Do you feel there's more to come in the second race? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. We've got a few few changes to make for the. Uh, I think the suspension is a bit lively with with no fuel on board. So there's a few things we can do hopefully for that last lap, but uh, or maybe just hold on tighter. I don't know. Regardless, it's going to be some family celebration tonight. <coughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's great to see Al, Al, Al right behind me. Yeah. Absolutely superb, Jevin. How was it from uh, your side? Uh, brilliant. I got told was uh, just going to take it steady and say <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just amazing. You've heard that a few times. Yeah, yeah, I have. You've had great form though on the British circuit so far this season, so you've brought that yeah. here and it sort of really paid off. Yeah, it has. Yeah, we, we, does it trump all of that though? Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> it's That's not quite set in yet that it's actually happened. Now actually sat here. Or that you're going to have to do it all again on Friday. Oh, yeah, I've not thought about that one yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on your runners-up spot. We'll move over to our winners, John Holden and Andrew Wingle. A second TT win and the old adage to finish first, first you have to finish, especially at the TT, John. Yeah, well, that, that's true. 
Uh, the first race, we, I think we were up on Ben and Tom, and then I were really surprised on this second race when they were clearing off and uh, had no answer, really. My bike wasn't particularly fast, but I, it, it has been all week, so I don't know what's going on. But uh, Yeah, top the practice sheets all week, so it looked like you were the phone man coming into the race, and then the virtuals just absolutely blazed away, didn't yeah. they? From, probably from Blath on the first lap, they really flew, and then on the second lap, they upped the lap record by about a tenth of a second. Right, yeah, no, fair play to them, and, and then boys can ride that. That back of theirs, and we tried hard, didn't we? Wink. Well, like you say, finish first, push it to finish. And so you weren't demoralised or anything as you were getting the boards. It was just <laughs> no, run your once, own race. Once the time were going away, I thought I can't, I can't do much about this. Just keep going, and then uh, we'll see what happens at the end of the race. And uh, it, we were lucky. Yeah, we lost both Tim Reeves and the virtuals, obviously. So attrition counting its huge part as ever it does here, Andy. And for you, back on the bike after a year out and to come away with a win, what a result! Yeah, well, I was here last year and walking around with a face like a smacked arse because I just wanted to be out there. And, <laughs> and it was one of those, yes, I've been in the TT, yeah, I'm getting back racing because in my head I knew I wanted to keep racing. And then, you know, we're doing it, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And then we went to Val de Vienne to t <coughs> on the big bike and uh, said, well, I can break myself in and then I can see whether I can really do it. And John, you know, he has stuck with me. He could have said, well, you know, I don't know, I'll, you know, and... But like the old Johnny, <laughs> as Milky said, we're like a married couple. Um, <laughs> and, you know, we've been together for, what is it, so 10 seasons? 10 years. 10 years. And, um, and to, you know, it's taken, you know, it's five to f well, five years since we won the last one. And then, you know, you can write a book, if Spots and Wise, and like the other lads who haven't, you know, sort of, you know, they broke down and this, and they were running away with it. But like you say, you've got to finish to win it. So, and we have done so. Yes. Result. Absolutely. If you like an old married couple, I don't know whether it was husband battery or wife battery when you got back here. There was some real thumping going on. It's just of how much the meant. battery. <laughs> <laughs> I've got bruises on my back now. Yeah. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign though of how much it meant. Yeah. 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 It's, it's not easy around here, is it? And 59-year-old bloke winning a TT. That's not so bad, is it? Yeah, yeah. it's a takeaway. Two wins. He's not much younger either, so. <laughs> <laughs> Two wins, five years apart. It's quite an achievement yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, then. We'll leave it Thank there. You. Congratulations. Our uh, podium today in third place, uh, Alan Founds and Aki Alto. In second place, Peter Founds and Jevon Walmsley. And our winners are now two times TT winners, John Holden and Andrew Winkle.